Mariah Island is a small island, only 20 kilometers long and at its widest just 13 kilometers across. Despite its size, however, this incredible little island off the east coast of Tasmania has so much to offer, both for those lucky enough to visit and the diverse population of protected wildlife that today call it home. Located off the east coast of Tasmania, Mariah Island is just around an hour's drive from Tasmania's capital Hobart, then reached by a short half hour boat ride across the Mercury Passage out from Tribuna, its nearest port and fishing village. The entire island is national park with long sandy beaches, eucalypt forest and rainforest tipped mountains reaching over 700 meters often sitting in low-lying cloud. Since its declaration of national park status in 1971, a variety of rare and endangered Tasmanian animals were introduced to and released on the island from the more common eastern grey kangaroos, short-beaked echidnas, ring-tailed possums, Bennett's wallabies, Cape Barren geese and wombats to the endangered Tasmanian devil in just 2012. Known as Tasmania's Noah's Ark, it is often referred to as one of the best places in Tasmania and even Australia to see wombats in their wild habitat as they are so placid and used to visitors in this protected national park environment. Along with being a haven for wildlife, Mariah Island has a rich history from as early as the 1800s with sealing gangs and whalers setting up camp and operating around the island. By 1825, Mariah became a penal settlement and later convict probation station. However, with the ease of escaping being located just four kilometers off the shore, was shortly abandoned in favor of the Port Arthur site. The island has since been used for farming, fishing, and even a cement works to utilize the island's limestone deposits. Today, with Darlington's World Heritage status recognised and listed as part of the Australian Convict Sites World Heritage property, the area is ever popular with tourists and just one of the many reasons it deserves its spot on any great Tasmanian travel bucket list. For week 9 of ticking off my own bucket list and sharing unique Australian adventures and inspiration, I wanted to return to the island to explore it further and share with you the beautiful Bishop and Clerk track, winding up and around its rocky northernmost cliff edges for incredible coastal views off the island. The track starts from the ferry terminal, curves around the island's northern point, past the fossil cliffs, up above the sheer cliff faces to the Bishop and Clerk lookout before returning to the island's tourist and activity hub at Darlington. Edged from the very start with remnants of the island's history, this is one walk that has been well preserved and offers hikers more than just a beautiful natural environment to experience. The 11 km return walk climbs from grassland follows in the footsteps of its wild inhabitants continues through open forest and tall woodland to the rocky slopes that wind up and away from the tree line.
Towards the summit, the landscape opens to low vegetation and open view of tracks below. Before becoming rockier and reaching one final scramble up the rock face to the summit at 620 metres above sea level. From here you are truly perched on the cliff's edge. Standing in the wind above the rocky coast and ocean below. Looking out at the towering dolerite columns above the ocean, this has to be one of the most rewarding and unreal views the island has to offer. The track down is much the same, returning via the same path and opening to walkers much of the landscape and habitat of the park's smaller inhabitants. Along with a greater history of the area and it's not so environmentally focused past. Away from the tourist crowds of Darlington, you can easily see why this incredible little island was chosen to be a much needed safe haven for so much of Tasmania's vulnerable wildlife. Surrounded by ocean, protected by towering rocky cliffs, free from vehicles and man-made threats, this island I feel is a window into the history of the area, but also an opportunity for visitors to experience Tasmania's wildlife and natural state. There is a lot of country out there to explore in Australia, but it is beautiful to see some so well preserved and protected, yet still natural and accessible. This for me is what puts Mariah Island on Tasmania's travel bucket list.